2.2 is just around the corner and with it comes a pervy of updates as well as a host of quality of life updates. For those of you that were looking forward to my stream today, I still don't have access to my account. As such, I wasn't able to stream. Hopefully by next week, I will have access to this or maybe by 2.2's launch, I will have access to my account again. I am still waiting for the team to deal with it. So that is the current update on where I am. I have also now got a new Twitter account. It's at Chaos Prime Z. G. So please, if you were following me on my previous account, go check me out on my new Twitter account. I don't have access to the old one anymore because of the two MF, you know, the two factor authentication bug that is currently in place that, you know, Twitter has no intention of fixing, which is why I'm in this mess originally. So yeah, I've now created a new Twitter account, new email account. Hopefully the Terra Fancy team can sort my account out soon. And as far as Twitter is concerned, I've just got something set up there that's completely isolated from everything else that won't be tied to anything else with, with minimal two factor. So no phone verification, no nothing. Hopefully that'll stay fine for the time being. So if you do want to follow me, go check me out there. Right on with the video. So first of all, we have what you're seeing on screen right now. And as you can see, you have a standard variant and an alternate variant. You can change the font of the damaged numbers to an alternative one and change its size. So for those of you that are of hard of seeing, you can have it nice and bold and big. But for those of you that like to not have it bold or too big, you also have the option too. So win-win situation here. Now, before I continue, these images are courtesy of Aphrodite. You can see that at the bottom of the actual images. So massive shout out to Aphrodite, and I'll have a link to all of these Twitter posts in my description below. So do go check them out and drop a like if you do find these useful. So these purple keys have been a big problem because they've been super rare, especially because they drop mirror. Well, now this is going to become less of a problem. You can spend five purple keys at once to get the corresponding reward, just like the blue keys. This means instead of going around and opening seven to 10 boxes a week, you only need to open two, one five and one two, because you only get roughly about seven keys a week when it comes to the purple keys anyway. So with that said, this should be a lot. This should make it a lot easier now to find those purple chests so you could, everyone can go and get their mirror because for the longest of times, there's been a lot of people who have struggled to find these because people do farming routes and actually collect all of them before they're even able to spawn and they do have a spawn timer. So yeah, hopefully this will help that out. So it's a really nice change, a warranted change. Next, we have this one we're seeing here. Now, this is something that I saw on the CN version, which I was, you know, I've really found useful and it's going to be extremely useful going forward for global. There are now hints on the map indicating below or above is the exploration point relative to the character's position. So if you are where you are here now, you can see this over here. Now, this is lower than this location here. So it's telling you that it's above you. Whereas this one here is on the same level as you because it doesn't have any of the yellow indicators. Whereas these ones over here, these two here are below you. So they're somewhere below. And obviously, as we know, they're down here inside the blue area, you know, the cave area. But this is a really nice change because now when you see a, uh, world exploration point or a supply pod you don't have to endlessly look around and try and see if it's behind a nook or cranny or anything like that you'll know instantly because it's either going to be above you on the same level or somewhere below you and if you see it below you then well you know what to do or if it's above you you know what to do good change so this is something that genshin impact has and I think it's extremely useful. Now for them, you have to kind of go through a reputation cycle in order to unlock it. So this one over here, I believe you may have to do something similar, but it says exploration point search function used to look for places with gold nucleus or free. Now it's not just gold nucleus. It is for other stuff as well. Next to minimap has a counter of explored air points in this location for a fee you can purchase a radar detector in the store. Now, 
when it says in the store i don't know if this is a cash shop i don't think i mean i wouldn't put it past them to be fair i don't know if this is the cash shop or if this is going to be like the support point shop or you know the, this is going to require gold dust or this is going to require purple dust or something totally different i d i just don't know with which you can search for any remaining exploration points, not only places with gold nucleus. This is going to be extremely valuable and it will help you find all those hidden, you know, exploration points that you couldn't find before. It scans the area that you're in and lets you know if there's any in the vicinity. And as you can see in the top left hand corner, explore the overworld to obtain gold nuclei and other rare resources. Use gold nuclei to order choice rewards. Explore the device's logged location, no information logged. This is going to be a game changer for people that are looking for stuff. Now, as we know, Maroria is adding two new areas, Sector B and Sector C. And as you can see, this is Maroria District B, and it gives you two gold nucleus, two special vouchers, and 300 of those dark crystal. The rest is kind of meh. But we can see over here, that it has 155 world exploration, 75 city, and 17 idle chats. For District C, we pretty much have the same thing, but we do have two more daily discoveries. So we are getting an additional two fun zones, 23 idle chats this time. But again, you still get that two gold nucleus, two special vouchers, and 300 dark crystals. So that works out to be four red nucleus, four special vouchers, and 600 dark crystal which is another four purchases of either red nucleus or special vouchers, or you can split them between them and it converts it to six red nucleus, six special vouchers. The choice is entirely yours. Now here in the support store, we're getting some additional items. So for the support points, you know, the ones that you play with newbies, you've got the special, you got the space time crystal fragments you can get for 200. 10 a week and you also now can buy two of these with the support points that you get from doing your training we also have this master i'm not sure if this is new or not i think it might be i really cannot remember because i've purchased everything again i don't have access to my account so i can't check fully but we do have this new store here and this is the void this is the new void abyss currency that we can get when we're doing void abyss and void rift which you can use to buy the stuff. You've got the steering wheel, you've got a tunnel. I think these are just decals that you can get, cosmetics, and obviously the bunny ears for cosmetics and the fire crown. So not too much added to this. They are a little pricey, so hopefully it won't be that long to actually collect all of these. But yeah, it is nice that we're getting additional stuff for this. Here is the void this this is the one that is coming to replace void rift this is kind of like the harder version of it void abyssal this is where you get the new engine from which is nice and there's the upgrade material for it the level up material so if we go to the next page we get to see the bosses that are going to be involved in this you've got abyss and gaia seraph barbarossa rudolph we do have another one here but we can't really see it so that's a bit of a shame but you can see the difficulty of the bosses and over here we see the upgrades now in order to get the upgrades for this you do void rift void rift will give you void abyss currency and you use those currencies to buy consumables that you can then use to buy these to support your team now obviously support is going to be for healer defense is going to be for tank and attack is going to be for dps so all in all good stuff Finally, we come to this appointed research. We are getting three new researches. There are three new tasks in the appointed research. These tasks require special micro reactor materials, which can be obtained from the shop in Void Abyss and also by exploring Meroria District B and C. So you'll get some of this stuff from District B and C and the other stuff from the actual Void Abyss. So that is nice they're adding to the research so for those of you that have actually finished it you can still continue they you know they're adding paths to it so it looks like this is going to be the way they're going forward they're also adding stuff like the gacha fonds and things like that 
It looks like they're adding fishing as well to 2.2, even though this was a 2.3 item. It looks like they're trying to sneak in for 2.2. It says there is a new it says there is a new casual menu page with artificial island building and fishing. You can get dark crystals by fishing and also fill your aquarium with fish in your private apartment. And as you can see, you've got the building and fishing. So the building is where your private home, I believe, is going to be. And obviously the fishing is where you want to go. You've got the fish as well that you can actually collect, which is nice. I actually enjoy fishing in games. It's something that you can do as a pastime and it's quite enjoyable. We're also getting some new gacha fonts, And as you can see here, we've got a bunch of emojis for in game as well as 10 red nucleus. It is still unknown if we're going to get the crow matrixes. We are supposed to get them. But based on these two, we've got also here the temporary for purchase and then a bunch of emotes as well as, you know, stuff to help you change your appearance again for free and, and also toys to level up your talents. But the key things here are the emojis and the voice. But this is all that's been found at the moment for, you know, within the files. You've got the new Gachafon with Lin here, focused on Lin and Saki here. And a bit of ruby but it's just for the 10 red nucleus and this one for the you know the vouchers the special vouchers i suspect we're going to get two more that replace the samir one and the humor one but they just haven't been found yet for those of you russian speaking players they have finally added russian language it isn't known if it's coming at 2.2 but it is coming very soon in tower of fancy so i suspect it's either going to come with 2.2 or 2.21, 2.22, something along those lines. I don't think they'll wait till 2.3 to add it in, considering from what I'm reading, it's pretty much a done deal and complete. Now in this picture, we've got the Winter Festival. We've got Mia, and I believe that is, I wanna say Saki, but we've got a Christmas bag with standard SSR weapon that we can get, a Christmas bag with SSR crow matrices, a new Mia, Garuda skin inspired by the mythical giant bird that Miss Shelley discovered from an unknown Asian book. It seems to be very suitable for the flying Mia. Now these here is basically take with a pinch of salt. There is almost, you know, no reliability on this. There's no foundation for this. It's just information that's been picked up and they've decided to put it together. It will be nice if we get a Christmas bag with an SSR weapon, even if it is with the standard banner. That would be super, super cool to actually give the players as a Christmas present. You know, that's, that's that would be really, really nice of them, at least in my opinion. But again, this one here you do take with a pinch of salt. So over here again in the next picture you're seeing on screen right now, all information in the picture is again stated strongly subject to change, just like the previous one. Void Abyss also gives the other appointed research materials for the micro reactor, but they are not listed for now. But as you can see, you've got the stage one, two, three, four, five with the micro reactor. You've got the upgrade materials. And then you got the other stuff as well. So yeah, that is uh, also coming towards Void Abyss. I am expecting more quality of life updates, but these are the ones that were shown image-wise from those that are in the closed beta test at the moment, those that are on the content creators program. So hopefully we'll get more and it will improve the overall experience of the game. But the Void Abyssal is kind of interesting. I'm looking forward to that. And the other quality of life changes are really, really nice. Anyway, you let me know what you think in the comment section below. Hopefully, I'll be back in game soon. And the moment I am, I'll release a short video, a really short one, to let you all know that I have, if I do ever get my account back, and hopefully uh, we can take over from there. Otherwise, it looks like I'm going to just have to restart from scratch and plow my way through to 2.2 and see where I get to. Well... That's it for this video. Thanks so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. As always, stay safe and remain legend.